our kidneys play a very vital role in removing toxic material from the body but what if they are unable to, to do so and what can be possible solution to remove that waste hello my name is dr purudavan and you might have guessed today's video topic that is how to remove toxic material like creatinine and urea from the body in a healthy human body the creatinine and the urea are collected in our blood and generally it is removed from our body through urine but when our kidneys are not functioning very well due to any type of kidney disease this creatinine and urea starts to accumulate in the body however there is an alternative method to remove this toxic material that's being built up in the body that is through sweat but we have to understand that sweating due to excessive exercise can be more harmful for a kidney failure patient let me explain when a person suffering from kidney failure performs or tries to do exercise the creatinine formation in the body tends to increase because of increase in the body's metabolism because of muscle metabolism making the patient case from bad to worse so now the question arises that we know sweating can help in removing toxic waste from the body but we cannot try exercise so what can a kidney failure patient do the answer is hot water bath therapy or in other words sauna bath yes you heard that correct if we go back in ancient history whether it is ayurveda chinese medicine or greek medicine you will find that sweating through sauna bath has shown positive result in removing toxic waste material from the body but now the question arises how to perform this process of hot water bath therapy let me explain you let's say you have a big tub in your bathroom you can sit in that tub for 1 to 1 and a half hour daily with warm water but one thing that you guys have to make sure that the temperature of water should be around 40 degree celsius maintaining that temperature you can use thermometer which can be easily available in the market but it is not very likely that the everyone has a bathtub in their home don't worry i got you guys covered there is an alternative for that too the second method is what we call a full body steam now there are few ways to get full body steam one is to make it at home with the basic things you will require a chair for that make sure it's a plastic or wooden chair with some holes or grooves below it a wooden chair would be better option because it's a bad conductor of heat now to get the full body steam you will also require a steam machine which is also available in the market so once these two things are ready for you what you have to do is keep the steam machine below the chair you are required to sit on the chair and roll a blanket all over the body what will happen with this you may ask now the steam will come out but it will be remain trapped in the blanket and the hot blanket will make you sweat this will help you to remove the toxic waste from the body through sweating however there is a second way to perform sweating process for that we have to purchase a sauna bag that you can see on your screen right now if you see inside this sauna bag you will see that a person is sitting comfortably his hand are out his neck is out the advantage of this sauna bag is that unlike the blanket process that i described previously this sauna bag doesn't make you feel suffocated as well as while using this sauna bag your hands are free and you can use your mobile phone or read newspaper and magazine if a kidney failure patient is able to perform any of the method i described in the video then it is very much possible to remove the toxic waste material that were getting accumulated in the body sweating has another benefits too for example when you sweat the excess salts comes out of the body bp will go down any water that been built up in your lungs and leg will come out the skin tissue become loose so a kidney failure patient whether they are suffering from stage 1 or the end stage renal disease should try this sauna bath method as it will definitely help you in the long run with this we have reached the end of today's video i hope i was able to give you a brief regarding how important sweating can be for a kidney failure patient now if you feel that you have some doubt you can share it on the comment section of this video and my team will always be able to solve your queries till then take care and see you in the next video